Hi Vancouver, hi YouTube. Today we're at UBC campus and we're asking people, how do you start a conversation? Especially those people that are shy out there. How do you continue this conversation? This is Vancouver Talks. I think in general, shy people tend to wait to start a conversation in the sense that they wait for somebody to come to them mm. rather than going to somebody. Yeah. You know, that can usually be like for a lot of reasons. All people are different and a lot of shy people deal with a lot of like social anxiety and you know, that's yeah. sometimes really hard to work through. You know, it's totally understandable that um, a lot of them don't really want to approach people because it's actually like terrifying. Yeah, it's scary for them. For yeah. Sure. Are um, you shy? Are you a shy person? Yes, I'm yeah. very shy. Do you like starting conversations? Not really. Not really? No. You kind of avoid them? Yeah. But when you have to start a conversation, what do you usually do? Just smile. Smile. Make eye contact. Yeah. Yeah, and just ask, how are you? What do how you are do? you? The simple thing? Yeah. Or like, where do you study? Okay. I don't know. I guess at school I will start with like, oh, are you from Vancouver? Because I'm not, so. Is it how to start a conversation yeah. with a shy person, or is or it how to... A shy, shy person. If you were a shy person, it's how would you talk person. to someone? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm not, not really a shy person. I'm not really a shy person. I'm not shy either. Not really. No. I don't know. You just got to start somewhere. Just introduce yourself. Yeah. Say, hey. Yeah. Hey. I feel like people here are nice, so people if you just say hi nice. to someone, they'll say hi back. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you if you want to finish the conversation. So they got to overcome their shyness just to say hi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean... We'll try to say hi, people. It's just nice. Talking to those people that are watching. <laughs> yeah. All five of them. Yep. Wow. <laughs> what a channel. Wow. What a channel. <laughs> Starting with like hi, hello is probably the way to go and then just see how like the person reciprocates Spons. it. Yeah. Yeah. Find something in common. Maybe like from physically or what you see they're wearing, what oh, they're like holding. What's, what's that? Like, oh I know what that is. Or like, oh if you're wearing a band t shirt, like, oh I know that. Okay, okay. Like have a common ground. Mm -hmm. I think that's how. Cause like I'm shy, and maybe that's like how that's I how see. You would... Yeah, it's true. Anything to add? No. Are you shy? Yeah, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shy? <laughs> well, it, it depends on depends. the situation. Yeah. Okay, depends on the person. Yeah. How he looks. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you shy? Not really. Not really? So no. You can, you, you're okay with starting? No, it's still. It's still a little bit. <laughs> it makes me feel really awkward. Yeah. It is. I think so, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Maybe start with like, where are you going or what are you, what are you up to? Something or, common. Mm -hmm. usual. How's your day? Yeah. How's the weather? Yeah. I believe that the reason why a lot of people are shy is because they're in their own heads about like the social pressures of interacting with other people. So it really just starts off with saying hi. Like there's nothing wrong with saying hi. As soon as you go from there, like the other person can continue on the conversation as well. But it really just takes that first step of just saying hi. A really simple greeting. Just jump, yeah. that. just jump that self barrier that you make. I think everyone has to realize, especially the shy people, that at some point everyone has an anxiety to talk to different people. In all kinds of public speaking, like presentations or kind of like the Toastmasters talks, there is that level of confidence which you need to pass in order to talk to someone. And then from there, how do you continue conversations? Because most, some people get, you know, they don't know what to say. Just be honest and say like, I just wanted to chat and, you know, make some friends. Would you like to, you know? Okay, so it takes the awkward away. Yeah, if you're not so busy. You want to try it. Follow up with, you know, whatever their answer was and dig into their answer. What if it's like a really blank answer? Mm, you start another mm -hmm. question. I mean, you could be a true Vancouver and just be like, what do you think of the weather? <laughs> exactly. Or, well, maybe you think you have to think about what, like what contacts you're saying. Yeah. It's like, hey, how are you doing? Or what do you want people to know about yourself? Yeah. And then you ask that person about that okay. thing because, I mean, you have like, to think about or like, hey, how was your weekend? Yeah, you can have a conversation about that. Like, okay. Yeah. What is the week? What is like Friday and the weekend's coming up? Saying, How's your week? <laughs> How's your week going? What are you doing okay. this weekend? Okay, those are simple things. When Follow I have meetings, people. I start with something called happy crappy. Um, happy crappy. Where you start, everyone goes around and says one really good thing that happened to them that week, and then one really bad thing that happened. Oh. To them that week. Um, just to kind of like get a feel for how someone's feeling. It doesn't even have to be like a specific thing. It could be like just how you've been feeling that week mentally. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. So happy crappy for me for this week is crappy I woke up and left my bed, my warm bed. Darn. And happy is I'm going to get to my bed soon. <laughs> <laughs>
when you want to talk to someone or when you see someone that you know, you kind of want to know how their day has been or how they're doing. So another simple question to ask is, how are you doing? A person who's really good at talking is also really good at listening, should have the ability to listen as well. So for example, if I saw walking down <laughs> towards the bus, I'd be like, oh, hey, how's it going? And then she would say, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Oh, good, thanks. Plus, you said get lost. <laughs> oh my yeah, she probably would say that to me, but, but, but we're filming, so yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, just asking a simple question, how their day is going, how they're feeling, and you can get the ball rolling from there. I think it takes a lot of time and an, a lot of effort to sort of learn the kinds of people that you're like and not be too bogged down by like the fact that what's considered cool or not. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, so yeah. I think it's okay for you to find people that are a little bit more introverted and a little bit more quiet if those are like your kinds of people and right? if, you, if you talk to them well yeah better. and yeah. you might be able to start a conversation like that regardless of you being shy or not start with like people that are sort similar of similar to you to, yeah and then work your way up that way yeah but don't like we don't have to think about it working your way up right like because everyone's different and there no one's better or like worse than anybody else mm. people are just different right mm. so yeah let's just say that person's whoever that shy person is kind of interested in the person that <laughs> All right, go on, go on, go on. So the person that he, uh, he or she's talking to. I don't know who your viewers are. I can tell you, you help people, right, in some yeah, way. Yeah. If it's romantic, then you have to realize that what do you have to lose? In business terms, it's called buoyancy, staying afloat in a sea of rejection. You have to realize that rejection is always going to be there, yeah. no matter if it's business, no matter if it's girls, whatever it is. So you have to deal with that rejection, and a part of that is realizing that rejection is a universal thing. In order to succeed, you have to be able to deal with it and to, to keep going forward. Okay. For so the person that's shy, did you just try it? Yeah, like realize that the future you will regret how shy you were to not meet that person or not go forward with whatever it is okay. you were going for. Coming from a shy person, so it makes sense. I'm very sorry. That's okay, no, it's fine, you're fine. You're doing good, you're doing good. I, I think people will relate to you. Like, okay. there's, a lot, there's a lot of people that are shy too, right? Yeah. Like, they will never do this. Yeah, Even cool. for you to be on an interview, on the camera is pretty good, right? Yeah. So you're kind of pushing your boundaries there. Yeah, I guess so. Yo, thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. M square out. Okay, uh, that's one more to Hi, mom. Wow. Hi. I don't think your mom will ever watch this, but. I'm gonna show my mom this. Cool, cool. Yeah. Hi, hi, his mom. Today we're at UBC campus and we're asking people today, fucking, I just said today twice. What the hell did I do that for? <laughs>